Hi Taurus, so this is going to be your weekly reading from the 19th to the 25th of December. So keep in mind that it is a general reading, so not all messages are going to resonate with you, so take what resonates, don't let it take from you. I will be using the Goddess Oracle deck, and I will be using the Ethereal Illusions. No, Ethereal Visions Tarot deck. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to pull one Oracle deck from here to get your piece of your or your overall energy. Then we're we'll pulling for the Tarot, what's going to be happening for you this week, what do you need to know. And then we're going to pull more from this deck so I can get some advice from you. So what is the overall energy for Taurus this week from the 19th to the 25th? We have courage, courage in the face of conflict. Some of you guys are dealing with a Leo, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have self-exploration, fairy tales, and myths. Some of you guys are dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces, okay? All right, so I feel like you guys are on this healing journey. I feel like you guys have been alone for a while or you're thinking about being alone. I feel like every single time you put yourself inside of something or you try to collaborate in some sense with somebody, it ends up falling apart. So I feel like you're on this self-discovery to figure out what you're doing wrong. Also, some of you guys could be seeing things or you're starting to see things that you don't usually see or you feel a presence around you that you don't usually feel or you keep having weird or beyond dreams. Yeah. I feel like you are in your spiritual journey and your healing journey at the same time. And then you're on your divine journey, which is either your divine feminine or your divine masculine journey. Let's see. All right. Taurus. Taurus, 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 Taurus. Taurus. <laughs> All right, let's see. You're starting off with the artist. Oh my gosh. I love when we start off with the artist. We have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the full card. Cool. Okay, I didn't pull I didn't pull any more cards. All right, but we have the full card over here, and then we have the death card right next to it. This is death, this is rebirth. All right, the full card is the first card in the tarot deck. I feel like you're taking a leap of faith towards things. I feel like you're letting everything that does not serve you end. And I feel like it bothers you, but some of you guys could be seeing 222 because I just seen 222 on the clock on the time. But I feel like things are bothering you. I feel like you're dismissing it. I feel like with the full card, I feel like you're going to be in this carefree energy with the Knight of Wands and Reverse the Ass. It's like you're going to be throwing caution to the wind. Your first card is the artist. Um, this is Aries energy to me too as well, but it's also Mercury energy. This is manifestation energy. So basically the magician card. Um, with the artist, I feel like this is a a blank canvas that you're writing on that you're drawing on i feel like you're creating your story and i feel like it takes a lot to know what patterns that you're doing wrong and who shouldn't be your life and having the courage to take them out especially with the ten of swords and the death card i feel like there's a lot of transformations that's going to be happening for you this week and i feel like there's going to be a lot of shifts happening as well okay scorpio season could have been very important for you all right, what else can you tell me about Taurus? Yeah, I'm hearing sacrifice. I feel like you're, I feel like you're laying down the rest certain things for something that you want. Wow, look at the death card coming out. You're laying out certain things for something else that you want. For example, if you were dealing with this one like situationship for for a bit, and you don't want to deal with that situation anymore it's just like because you want something long term i feel like you're laying everything out on the table and if someone's not coming with what you want that has nothing to do with you we have the four swords in reverse great amazing all right bottom of the deck we have the nine of pentacles in reverse that's what i'm saying i feel like you guys were in a codependent energy before not knowing what you want to do or where you want to go with your life but i feel like now i feel like you're understanding the purpose of all this and what you've been through with certain people in the past we have the world card and the king of swords in reverse some of you guys gonna be dealing with a fire sign or um a fire sign or a sagittarius or a air sign which is gemini libra aquarius i feel like this person is going to be coming back around towards you and i feel like you're going to be shutting this person off i feel like this person see as soon as i said that i was looking at this card wait look at the man how he's in sadness not even in sadness He's like holding his, I feel like this person's in their head at bed, up at night, calling themselves dumb or stupid or whatever the case is. But with the four swords and verse as your last card, I don't feel like you're stressed over this situation, over this person. I feel like you're ready for something new. I feel like you tried with this person or a situation and it's just not working. 
so i feel like you're on your way to go find yourself what is this person's next action whoever's on taurus mind what is this person's next action towards taurus we have the seven of swords in reverse we have the moon in reverse and we have the knight of cups this person and the ten of pentacles okay cool this person's next action towards you is to come clean. I feel like this person self sabotaged this connection, but I feel like they were they weren't keeping everything to a forefront. I feel like this person could have been making so much time for you, and then they stopped eventually. We have the Knight of Cups, so I feel like this person does want to come through and offer. I feel like this person wants to take you out and see you, but this person this person wants to make things right. I do see this person sees you as someone that's very stable, someone that is very dependable, but. It's like this person has a lot of feelings for you and they come off very cold and harsh with this king of swords and this knight of wands but in actuality they find you very attractive and very sweet and, and very loving and charming and they're like okay who can't fall for that but now they see you leaving and they don't want you to go but i don't know if it's too late for you babe all right let's see what's the outcome for taurus i kind of like that kind of like that what is the outcome for taurus Cards. I don't feel like picking them up. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the King of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. Yeah, you're choosing yourself. We have the King. <laughs> we have, sorry. We have the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. The Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to be getting attention from suitors. Okay? You're going to be getting a lot of attention from suitors. But not only that, we have the Two of Cups in reverse and the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you made your mind and you chose yourself. You're choosing yourself. I feel like you already gave this person a chance. This person is literally, this person is literally looking your way. Look, this person is literally looking your way. You're going to see this person looking your way, but then they're, you're just going to like, but look, I already gave you that chance and you didn't want it. I feel like your mind's not going to be set in stone or focus on love or focus on, yeah, love this, this, <laughs> this week. I feel like it's just going to be focused on you and what you want. I feel like you're focused on your finances. You're going to be taking action towards yourself. So you might as could be going hiking or going in the woods or something like that or going camping. It's something like that where you're going to try something, something in nature, something that you don't usually do. All right. So let's get some advice. All right. Could be dealing with a Gemini, a Sagittarius, an Aries, um, Aries, fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius, Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn. We have forgiveness. We have in nature. What did I just say? You guys are going to be in nature. You guys are going to be becoming more in tune, okay? This is too much. Can I have one more? What does Taurus need to know? We have awareness. Look beyond what you see. That's that Sagittarius energy. We have forgiveness, compassion, and kindness. This person is going to be coming towards you. This person is going to be coming towards you for forgiveness. I feel like they're aware of their wrongings now, but it took a while. But I feel like you're going to be in a very peaceful state when this person comes in. With spiritual awareness, what we were talking about in the beginning, I feel like there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be shown to you. Yeah, I feel like you, with letting go under that, I feel like you emotionally detached from the situation already. I feel like you took the time and energy to move on or like make certain movements or like, or just master detachment. And I don't like to use that word too much, but... I feel like a lot of you guys, you guys are just starting to become more in tune to what you should and should not give your energy to. And I feel like you're not taking it any lightly anymore. So I feel like with courage, I feel like you're taking this information and you're putting it to use. I feel like you're going to be spending time out and I feel like you're going to be enjoying yourself and enjoying your own space, which took you a while because you had to learn how to remove yourself from codependency and codependent relationships or connections that you're in or with certain types of people. All right. So Taurus, that is what I have for your general reading this week um keep in mind that it's a general if you want a personal reading you can email me all my social medias are down in the description box below if you have any questions or comments put them down in the comment box below um i'm glad for seeing you guys towards this week and i hope to see you guys next week and i hope you enjoyed your weekly readings